the crew worldwide From Kali to Twitter Real hardcore fans Boxing ass niggas Consistency cops Police the views We'll pull up receipts for any debates you choose Shout outs to Clan Arky for the dope production Ring gang stay with the best discussions yes. Ring gang yeah, yeah, yeah. What's good, yo? Welcome to another episode of Real Talk, where, as always, the shit's real we talk about. I'm your host for tonight, Pat Scorpion, the New England representative. As always, I got my man with me. I'm going to let him introduce himself. Yo, what it do is LB, Lotta Del Boss, a.k.a. Shadowworth the God, Go Artist, Soul Wars Creator, RingGangRadio.com in the building. Yes, sir. Ring Gang in the motherfucking house. And as always, I got my other man with me. I'm going to let him introduce himself. Yo, yo, you already know who it is. Your boy, King P, Bodega P, Bodega Boxing in the building. Let's get it. Yeah, hey, King P, straight from the sewer. Yes, sir. And uh, last but certainly not least, man, we got, you know, we got the man that I would have. We'll let him introduce himself. Yo, you already know who the fuck it is. It's your boy, Rome. Shaw City in the building. What's up? Yes, sir. Roman, the Hummuffin House. You know, it's good to have you back on the show, bruh. Uh, so, yeah, man, you know, you know, we haven't done a music episode in a while. You know, it's been, you know, before the boxing and the other random fuckery that's been happening. And some of the, you know, some movie stuff, man. You know, we didn't, we have to, we're, we're going back to the essence with this, you know what I mean? So, yeah, you know, another music review. And, you know, it's from the man of our himself, Rome. We're going to be reviewing his album, you know, the Romantic EP, six song. Av- available everywhere. And yes, available everywhere. You know, <laughs> you know, just type in his name, the Romantic, and it'll take you where you need to be. You dig? Um, so yeah, we, you know, we got to talk about it, have a discussion about it, review it. You know, give our thoughts. You know, witticisms, criticisms, fuckery, all that shit. You know, that's how we do. Uh, man, so, uh, LB, man, you want to get the shit off, bro? Oh, uh, it was a dark, stormy night when I first <laughs> signed my artist role. Nah, I'm not. <laughs> uh, nah, yo, um, it was just a long time coming, um, EP Fire. I like the whole thing, um, probably just one song. I don't really play like that or I might skip or I don't fuck with like that. Rome, no. Because I ain't really a fan of the beat like that, but he was spitting on the song. But other than that, the the, the diversity, the beats, the flows, it's catchy. I fuck with the whole thing. Glad to be a part of it. Um, shit, it's dope. Like, you know, some for everybody. Yeah, because I know you're, you're on two of the joints, man. Uh, I think the third joint and the last joint, you know, the last joint is personally my favorite one. The Deadly is Drug. That shit was my, uh, that shit was, uh, that shit was my favorite joint out of the whole, out of the whole EP, man. Like, I, like, I, 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 I <laughs> appreciate it, appreciate it. You know, I mean, it, 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 you know, you know, that's the deal. Cause usually I know both of you niggas aren't really on the, on that emo shit. So I was kind of surprised that a song like that made it. You know, you guys made a song like that. But so, it, uh, it, you needed that song because if you didn't have that song, you wouldn't have. It's like the romantic would be missing romantic. Like that's the like the most romantic song on there. It's like if you listen to it like on some movie shit. After that song, you post a smash. If you if you if you, if you were sure. <laughs> yeah, that's a rap. Exactly, it's a rap. That's a rap. Like, it's a deadliest drug. You already got her addicted. Like. <laughs> No, let me ask a question, bruh. Like, Deadly's Drug, man, who came up with the concept, man? Like, how did this shit, you know, get birthed? You know what I mean? How did it come to fruition? Manifest, if you want to say, keep it that way. Okay, so, uh, uh it's two parts. I remember, it's two, it's two parts. <laughs> yeah, I remember it. I was, I already had Romantic done, pretty much. And I was just trying to, you know, close it out because I had all my tracks. I had kind of the track list set up. I just needed a track to wrap it up. So I I got a beat. Shut up, sent me a beat. Sincere Noble. Shout out Sincere Noble. Word. I checked it out. You know what I'm saying? And if, originally I came up with the hook. So I had the hook done for like a month and didn't even write my verse yet. Because, 
we had another person who was originally supposed to be on it. It never happened. So I ended up finishing my verse and doing his verse. So that's why I have two verses in the song. So I, I did my two verses, Shutter did his verse, and that was his track. But it was really supposed to be three people on that song. Yeah. But that's how it came about, pretty much. But I just came up with that shit, like, vibing. I, I, get, I hear the beat, I come up with a song. That's how I go. I feel a vibe, just, that's how I go. And just to add more background on the beat, the beat was something I had for, like, years. It's an older, sincere, noble beat. Originally, we was supposed to do it for a, a album, like, pretty much before the gold artist was even made like it was supposed to be for, it was supposed to be for our solo it just we never got to it whatever and i always loved the beat that that old school feel and I, I knew how rome could do those choruses and he got that vibe that the old soul young body sent him the damn beat he killed the chorus he, he already knew the concept so he, he brought to life something that was just sitting around so that that's the magic of that shit Word. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like I said, I mean, I was talking, that's kind of like the one where, you know, like the thought process was like super strong. I mean, I was just thinking maybe y'all just smoke, were smoking like, you know, big shit that day. So you were just like real motivated to get in the booth and spit some shit. You know, it's just, you know, weed does manifest, you know, the brilliant things, you know, so. Um, Even if you hear the song, you can hear in my verses, I'm wrapping up the album. In the, ver- in the first verse, I believe, I say, I think she the one, want me to take her down south, uh, see, change her life. I was just, you know, wrapping up the album, saying titles, really showing, you know, the romantic ending. That's all, that's what it really was, but. Yeah, I mean, I, I know it's true, yeah, like the song titles are telling me, it definitely, I mean, yeah, I just noticed that like maybe 10 minutes ago, so you guys, yeah, yeah, excuse me for the slow moment. But yeah, definitely like just the track listing itself, like it definitely follows like a theme, you know, range yeah. right, 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 the one, down stop, change of life. And now I'm just thinking about the shit that from listening to those shots, I was like, okay, yeah, you know, he was, he was definitely, Rome was definitely, he definitely planned this shit out though. I don't know how, if, I don't know if it was on some freestyle shit or it's just like, you know, he just, we wrote words down and then afterwards, you know, created songs from those words. I mean, people, I've seen people do that shit. Um, but, uh, but I dug it, you know, I, I dug the concept though, straight up. Um, yeah. Now, in terms of songs I did not like. Um, Let's hear now, it. <laughs> Down South was cool. I mean, it's not, cause, Cause you actually changed up before, like you did a double time flow. Like, you know, double time flow is not, is not something that everyone can do, or, or they don't do it right. Like some people just do it and they're not really on beat with the flow, or some people try to do it, yeah, and fuck up a whole lot. Damn, I feel like I'm in the my, I'm in the minority with that shit. I'm like the like down south is actually my fucking favorite song on the album. Fire. Like, oh, it's my you already least know. Favorite. Like, you already yeah, know man. that's um, that's one of I my just favorite like too. That shit too fire. Like every time that shit come on, I get hyped. <laughs> um, well, truth be told, like Raindrop was the one that I, I ended, although like it was cool and all, but I, w- I wasn't feeling like the other songs were. Like, I, I don't know what, it, I couldn't put my finger on it, but it, was, I, it just, it, it, it just didn't hit me at first. It, mm-hmm. it, it, it didn't hit me out. Like I've I listened to it like three times. It, it just hasn't, it, it, it didn't hit me. There's something about okay. it that was just like, uh, Ride or Die picked it up though. I mean, it picked up after that, but Range Up was just like, mm. damn. I feel you. I feel Range you. Up is like the smash to me. Yeah, that's a smash. That's a super smash. That's the one that's like that everybody remember pretty much. Ride or Die and Range Up, and the one as well. But uh, yeah, Range Up is probably the super smash off that. Where it's like universal play this for somebody. Oh, I just heard this. What's the song over there? I'll play Raindrop. Yeah. You feel me? So I like Change Your Life, but it's like niggas don't talk about that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I love Change Your Life. I've been getting a lot of feedback. Because I did, you know, with Change every album that I play, and I'm fucking with it. And you're fucking with it, and? I'm actually, to me, sounded the best in a whip. 
like driving, playing that shit. I was like, oh, it sounded better because it was funny. With on my headphones and shit, when I first listened to it, I'm like, ah, oh, it was okay. And then when I played it on the car, Bang shit it. was it way, yes, yeah, shit was way better. Yeah, right. and, and that's a, and that's thing I want to bring up because I I just I just straight on my computer. And I got whoopers and shit on my computer. Um, one thing that one criticism that I do say is it sounded like the beat was drowning you guys out. I mean, a lot on some of those songs, though. Um, I don't know. I mean, like I said I listened to that on computer. I didn't, you know, I didn't. It wasn't like I didn't listen to it in the car or anything like that. I mean, does I'm, it? I'm woofers. I don't know. Like, I don't know because I mixed it using um, headphones and the car stereo, so I took all of it in, into account. So I tried to come up with a, to the best of my ability. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a fucking engineer. They got rap. <laughs> I just so happy, man, I know how to do this shit. Facts. You feel me? Yeah, facts. I mean, that's that's the that's the proper test, though. You got to do the whip test, and you got to do the headphones. Yeah, uh, everybody I know who, saying, but just, who mixes, you know, pretty much do that. Yeah, usually, and I didn't listen. I mean, like I said, I listen to it at home, so there's no headphones. You know, I want I, I blare my shit. You know, and I, and I, and just just from that, like it, it, it just seemed like the beat at times. The production was like overpowering your vocals a little bit. Mm-hmm. Not all, but not it, not quite full songs, but every now and then it just seemed like the beat was there, and then you know the voices were just just a tad bit low. Yeah, leveling leveling problems. Okay, I see. Yeah, the only I can say that is probably with the beat itself. Like, depending on the producer, some people could equalize and mix down their beat better than others. So if your if your mixing's like real clean, you gonna enhance and make the beat even on the song sound better. Right. But if the, but if the beat itself isn't mixed at its best, then you know, no matter how good you mix it, it's just gonna still be out of it's just gonna reach a certain level. Yeah, you you, you get that cassette quality type of beats. <laughs> I mean, I can, you can't really, either way, you can't really bl- blame Rome if it's not like mixed and mastered like the best to the best. And, and I, mean, I, I, I don't, personally, I don't. Mm-hmm. You don't mix? No, no, I'm saying I don't blame him. Like, I don't, oh, like, mm-hmm. one of my biggest pet peeves is when, and I'm, t- apologies, I didn't mean to cut P off, but it just one of my biggest pet peeves is when motherfuckers, when you let them listen to some shit, and the first thing they see is like mixing, like, like especially if they don't have a, a mixing uh, uh, engineer background. Right. <laughs> I'm a rapper, nigga. I don't mix. <laughs> you feel me? I'm, exactly. I, but I, I can just imagine if my shit's sounding amazing with me mixing it, nigga. I can't wait to see when somebody else mixing my shit. What type of magic I can make? You feel me? <laughs> Sky's the limit, nigga. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, cause, right. cause, cause I can, I can like, like, I'll go back to, like I said, my favorite was down south. I could see why, like, you complain about the beat, cause it's noticeable when you go in the car. That actually, did, it didn't sound as good on the whip, but it, the double, like, his, I always love his fucking that that semi double time flow on the song. <laughs> so it kind of saved it. Right, right. Yeah. Word, word. I was killing that track. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can but, see, you know, uh, AC Rome is very modest about his uh, his music. <laughs> to me, to me, I feel like like to me listening to his shit. I think honestly, like the thing that stood out for me, like of his attributes, was to me his mic presence. He was just like you could tell his swag was on a hundred, and he was like he was rapping like you could tell like he he met like I'm that nigga like yeah, yeah, like. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, take, I take pride thing. in my verses. I take pride in every verse. Yeah, Trust yeah. me. Yeah, that's, that's one thing. Yeah, he, he felt like you know usually you know some people they grab they don't they, they don't be feeling it like they, they, it just feels like it's like humdrum. But no, Rome there, there, there was nothing with that. Rome just like you know like it, from the time he got into the booth or whatever he recorded the shit and like he felt he I mean he did what he had to do and you can hear it. You know what I mean. I mean, usually, and, like, I mean, in fact, that it was only what um, six tracks because usually when niggas don't feel like they they record a whole bunch of bullshit. <laughs> and, yeah. If if I, if I if I were to make a comparison, 
Like, I know a lot of people don't like comparisons and shit like that. Like, with, with the mic presence and how he was, like, his shit was coming off. Like, it kind of reminded me, like, I was listening to, I don't know how y'all feel about him personally, but I fucks with him heavy. Kind of reminded me a little bit of, like, a like a Saigon type shit. Oh, that's a, that's a, that's wow. that's a hell that of a That was, thing. like, left field. I didn't expect, I didn't expect to hear Saigon. Not no, the hell Saigon, is is very Saigon could spit, though. <laughs> And Saigon, like when he raps, you could tell like he's like he feels what he's rapping, and he's like his mic press. That's why I, I fucked with Saigon's mic presence, just like Rose. My, it kind of reminds me of that. Okay, word. I'll, yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. Fuck with that. Not, yeah, it's not manufactured. It's not manufactured at all. Like you know, he you know he believes he's that nigga man, and it, it came through. So I mean, that was definitely a positive. I mean, you can't listen to no one who's not who can't who's not even feeling their own shit. You know, mm-hmm. like, like hollow, man. <laughs> it's not just the confidence, though. It's like in hip hop, you don't really have that strong, like the alpha, like that that dominant, that that masculine energy on tracks no more. Like you don't have that. Hell like no. you know how you'll listen to like a Ice Cube record back in the day, and you'll be like, "Yo, this Cube's that dude." Like yeah. you don't hear like this generation. You don't hear the young. You don't hear a lot of young niggas out like, and you be like, "Yeah." This that no. dude, like yeah, not, it's, not, it's, not, it's, not it's a twenty eight, a twenty eight year old niggas with high pitched voices. We don't do that over here, nigga. We I mean, rap. Niggas, I mean, niggas just jumpy <laughs> back themselves, nigga. Like, these niggas are weak, man. Physically weak. You know everything about. <laughs> It's not even a it's not even a young thing to me. A lot of times so old rappers too, a lot of times one of the things that I don't like is like you could be a great rapper, but if you sound like you're just reading from a piece of paper, that's like uh Nasty. You gotta feel each line. Every line has a emotion to it. You feel me? Whatever you saying. No, nah, whatever you saying, I'll be feel sometimes I'll be reading the line, I'll be like, damn, I said that? What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> that shit hard. <laughs> that shit just make me say it even <laughs> and even nastier. I can't I'll be like, damn, I don't feel it. What's rapping? Yeah, but it's like maybe that's a vibe. That's a vibe too though. Nah, I, I can't listen to a Joe Button album or, or even Earl Currency, Sweatshirt. Lloyd a Banks. Top, top of the you know, creator. LB, like, yeah, Joe Button is like one of those rappers. Like, I put Joe Button in the category for TI and E40. I mean, I can listen to songs from them here and there, but not for a whole damn album. Nah, uh, nah, I, I, I'm, nah, I'm a huge Joe Button. I'm a huge, I'm a, I'm a huge Joe Button fan, that so I can't bars, agree. Can, yeah. That voice, man. No, that man just. If you want to hear a story, just put on a Joe Budden track, nigga. You He'll can't, you but you shit. can't, you can't control a vo- your voice or your tone. Like some and that's what I'm saying. And, and he got the short end of the stick, and it's like, <laughs> he can't, like he'll he'll never be dope to me because of that. It's already been decided. Damn, <laughs> you hard, you saying hard on him? No, no, like like he like I give him his respect as an artist. Like he could rap, he could spit, mm-hmm. but. If I had to be a nigga to sign him or be like, hmm, I want to do a Joe Budden collab, like that would never happen on my part. <laughs> I mean, like, I would never feel him like, like he would, he would sound best in a group, like on a, like them desert store tapes when like everybody's ripping and then Joe Budden to have a verse or whatever, or he got Fab or this nigga that nigga, like niggas like that is dope, but he ain't dope enough to me like to hear like a whole fifteen song album like that, like cause of that voice. That should just get annoying. People used to say I sounded like him when I rapped. <laughs> but your voice is different, though. It's like maybe you, I, I didn't hear you rap, though. Like some niggas' rap voice and talking voice is like different. I'm very, I'm very mush mouth, though. So that would, that would really fucking piss you off. <laughs> so you might be like Lloyd Banks did. <laughs> Now, Lloyd Banks, I mean, new Lloyd Banks, I have a hard time listening to it because he changed up his voice and his flow, you know, from the from the old I mean, Lloyd I, Banks could spit. Like, I, I listened to him more than, like, Joe Buttons. Like, his flow, I think, was better than Joe Buttons, but that, yeah, I wasn't a fan of his voice either. <laughs> I'm, just not for, I'm, not, I'm just not a fan of Lloyd Banks' voice now. It's just, it's just, although he's spitting a lot better, but, yeah, it just sounds weird. Like it doesn't sound like it doesn't. It's like it lost his swag, you know. And it's just like, ugh, yeah, this guy looks like he's just going through the motions. <laughs> yeah, because a rap voice, a dope rap voice, is like that's like God given. That's like Tyson power, Trinidad power. Like, yeah, 
you you either have it or you don't. And it's like it just to me it, it just makes a difference between a nigga who supposed to rap and a nigga who ain't supposed to rap. Like right. And that's, that's why and that's why he rap do, got a dope ass voice. But he has a lift yeah. though. That's the that's the only thing that kind of, he has a list. Once you get past that list, it's like oh. It's I don't know. The list makes the, the list still it's makes it dope thing. though. And the fact that he doesn't that he's not mush mouth with this type of flow is exactly is <laughs> like he, he, you can understand this shit clear, too clear sometimes. Some of the shit that he's spitting, and that yeah, and that, yeah that's definitely a point. And, 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 but Rome definitely has a voice. That is hell yeah. Like, and that's it. You know, it's 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 it's, it's rough and it's laid back. You know, yeah, he, yeah. it commands respect. Like that's that uh, six let me four. Ask you something, bro. Voice, <laughs> what's up? So, how, what is like? How does I want to know? Like, how does your method go into like when you're going into the booth when you're writing shit? Do you have like a, a specific like method that you like? Because everybody, every rapper has their own little process before they actually start recording, and then after, like in the process, like yeah, like how 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 does how does that go about for you? All right, for me. I grab a beat, I listen to it. And if I don't, if I can't come up with something in the first 30 seconds, I'll either switch the beat or just come back to that beat a different time. Cause normally pretty much every song that's on Romantic and every song that I write, I freestyle the hook and the first part of the verse like right, right away. And then I'll just keep saying it remember it and then write it down and then write a song like come back and maybe another day and write a full song after it but i always just just feel the beat i listen to the beat don't say nothing don't think nothing then play it again and then the first thing to come to my mind i'll be like okay this is the vibe i'm getting this is the type of song i want to make out of this this is a melody i'm hearing let me write this type of hook you feel me it's all about the beat style though it depends on the beat style Okay, I feel that. I feel that. I like that process. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely it. I mean, I mean, some people, I mean, some people like, some people, like, I mean, some people, and I do this too, like, some people write before listen to a beat. And that's I not that good, too. though. I don't, I don't, I don't like that, do that, that, that method, I, I, but the, that's not for everybody. But I mean, I do that sometimes. You, when I'm bored, I write a cappella and then try to find a beat to put it to, but it's yeah. harder to do that. It's harder to do that. Once I linked up with niggas who had <laughs> fire beats on deck, I never fucking wrote a verse just to write a verse to look for a beat. Every anything I ever write is always gonna be to a beat. You ain't never write a cappella, nigga. I do that shit all the time. Be- before before I ever had a list of them elite producers from around the world at my fingertips. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you ain't never been at the grocery store thought of a thought of a, a couple a couple grocery bars and was like, okay, I wanna I wanna save some <laughs> shit. And write some shit down. Like, I do that shit everywhere. Oh like a random bars? No, yeah. not a bar, like a sequence, maybe four bars. I come nah, up with four nah, bars all the like, time. Two bars max. Like I'll have a fucking two bar sequence, but I don't come up with damn fucking it's more like I come up with punchlines like, hmm, okay. That yeah, that, that that's how I do, yeah. Like I mean, but unless four or five bars, hell no. Nah. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm if I come up with a punch, get a beat. If I, if I come up with a punch, this is what I do. I come up with a punch. I come up with a line before, and I come up with a line after, and then maybe a line to close it. So I got my four bars. So all I gotta do is just write, you know, maybe eight more, fucking twelve more, and I'm straight. Yeah, I'm gonna have more fun doing that with the beat though. Then no, I'm but if, if the line is that cold, it don't matter with beat, nigga. <sighs> Yeah, I mean, but I'm, I'm always gonna spit cold shit anywhere, so exactly. Yeah. So you can write it a cappella. <laughs> nah, it's not the same, nigga. <laughs> it is the same because you can find uh, a this thing, I just, and I just be, like, go crazy. Life, writing bars, like I've been writing bars since like I would say like 14, 13, 14, and I ain't really started getting beats until like eighteen. All right, but hold it. Let's say I want to hold it. That's a like a whole four years. I'm like, fuck all that. Like, let's say, let's say I want to hold beats. <laughs> let's say I want to hold a no beat cipher. I got verses right now, nigga. I can, we can do that. I got acapella. You can't do no 
you know, shit that you got to a beat. I would just song. freestyle it. All right, then go ahead. We can do that. You talking about freestyling acapella? You say you need a beat every time you rap, nigga. Your ass. No, I'm saying if, if I'm presented with a cipher, then yes, I'll just have to freestyle then. Okay. If niggas is like, no, nah, we gonna fucking penalize you if you ever use any bar from any previous song, even though we know you got thousands of songs. <laughs> <laughs> like what the fuck niggas gonna have a gun to my head like <laughs> hold on like, nah nigga that's from goat artists yeah I heard that on Spotify the other day that's track 11 nigga verse 2 like really <laughs> niggas do that yeah I mean it's, it's definitely an interesting process you know like I said right, I mean writing to a beat and then you know just thinking of lines I mean yeah, in my case, like I never, I mean, unless I'm already thinking, uh, unless I already have a topic at hand and I just happen to randomly start thinking about some shit, and then it's like, okay, then do, 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 bars, done. Yeah, because you, know? you, you know the beat though. Like, it's like, I, if you download the beat in your head and you, and you trying to finish off a verse and you already wrote like maybe eight bars to the beat, you could probably finish off some of it later if you you downloaded the beat in your head though. Mm-hmm. So you could kind of, hmm, 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 you know. But just to just write fucking random bars, nah, nigga, that's like poetry story time, like middle school shit. <laughs> but I mean, you can do that if you're versatile enough to where you can like, where you have an, a good enough flow that you could fit it into a beat. But if you're like a one dimensional nigga like the baby, nah, you can't do that. <laughs> oh god that guy that I I I actually oh, wow. I, 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 I don't know that well, guy. one flow fits all oh that nigga yeah. rock up and keep regular oh, yeah uh, like I said that the baby's appearance on the sway on the sway morning show this nigga could you know was rapping in that one dimensional flow over at least he up. tried I mean I, I give him I give him props for trying yeah, to fit tried, it but I was just yeah. like this nigga says he's like the hottest in the game but he, he couldn't even rap to that beat I'm just like come on dog nah like, these I, mean, I, I mean I mean guilty conscience is a, over those beats though yeah guilty conscience is, is a weird beat to fucking freestyle over I wouldn't fucking no, do it's it super it. easy nigga no no, no that not, I didn't say it, I didn't beat. say it was I didn't say it was hard I just said it was a weird beat yeah, yeah, it is a weird beat to just have on deck for ciphers. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with that. Like when them niggas chose that, I was like, the fuck. But but them niggas passed up the damn uh, Dipset beat. The fucking um, what was that? The uh, the intro. Oh, it was a juve- what did they, didn't they pass up a juvenile? Like they passed the up the juvenile beat. beat. Yeah, the nigga, like oh, this ain't my era. Fuck out of here. I'm like, <laughs> what? He said that. That's just crazy. So yeah, what what like, juvenile uh, beat was it? It was um. <laughs> he said this ain't my uh, era. Them niggas the same age, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, they passed up like two fire beats. Like both beats were better than Guilty Conscience. Like I don't know why they passed up the two better beats, but. And even then, like that that one that one milk drinking nigga didn't even spit. Like he didn't want no parts of that. Yeah, side stunner. That, that, that stunner for Vegas too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't, he never rapped. I don't know why. Yeah, this nigga just sat, this nigga just sat there like a like a fool. I'm like, dog, like you gotta, like you gotta get people to listen to. I can't listen to you. Yeah, his style ain't made for freestyling though. Like the way he like, cause now I actually fuck with some of his music. Like his style is like his verses sound like a bunch of punch-ins. If that makes sense. Then he shouldn't be rapping. Exactly. <laughs> no, like I don't stop, know if they're punching in. Write a write a verse and rap it. Stop punching in. A PSA to all the new rappers. Punching in is not the way, nigga. Rap your whole verse. Right? You, I mean, no, I mean, cause you know I mean, that song I mean, with NLE Chopper and Rome, and, 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 and it's like NLE Chopper kind of eats him on that song, and that ain't like. Yeah, but these niggas are rapping over their last two words every line. That's that's yeah. kind of trash. I mean, who, how the fuck do you record some shit like that? Like yeah, you say a line, be like, all right, I mean, stop it. I mean, even, even, even <laughs> go even, back. Even, I mean, even niggas like Easy and Dr. Dre can rap full verses, even after they had to do the punch and shit. Like, you should be able to, these little, these little niggas should be able to actually rap a whole verse. But look, the thing is, they punched in, but it was, you can still rap the whole verse like a normal person. If you're a rapper, you can rap their verse better than they can. But... With these, the baby songs, you can't even say the full song because this nigga be saying words over words. So how the fuck 
you're not that ta- niggas ain't that talented. Yeah, of course not. You feel me? Oh, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> you can say it two words at one time. Nah, you can't do that. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> yeah, you yeah, wild. yeah, you, yeah, you young rappers, yo, you, you got you got to learn how to rap. You know what I'm saying? You can't be punching in. Doing all this bullshit, but, but that's why I mentioned Core Mega Day because yeah, I don't want niggas to be like, listening to this and be like, oh man, or oh, like I think every old rapper didn't like you know didn't punch man. in because he's somebody who who could spit like one of my favorite artists and he used to punch in too. Yeah, I mean, I I can't say nothing because I fucking pun heavy because he used to, but but he was also fucking six hundred pounds. So exactly. also, also give a nigga a break. But then Big Pun also fails to spit live. There's there's many instances of this nigga spitting live like, without having to punch in. So that's yeah, like, but he was he was spitting live, but he couldn't even finish half of his verses. Like, <laughs> but I mean, if you remember those Big Pun verses, like this nigga really had like he put a lot of bars and like words in them verses. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's like he out rapped for his own, like he wasn't like he rapped above his weight class. If that makes sense, like no, but I, I still feel like if you record it, you gotta be able to. Form it. You can't just yeah. You, you gotta no, be able to I say agree the verse. You. you gotta be able to say the verse anywhere. You can't just be able to. You can't. Because you, nah. you, 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 you no longer a rapper now. You you an entertainer. Yeah, you, you, you can't be no damn studio rapper that, that that needs the technology in order for you to actually sound make you sound good. Exactly. Be, yeah. I mean, you can spit your verse. Had enough spit you a verse. Studio How, when was the last time you heard? When was the last time you heard? One of these niggas be like, oh, spit a verse. And these niggas just go off next to a, outside they whip and they actually going in bar for bar. Cam is the only nigga that still do that shit. That's why I follow yeah. that nigga on Instagram. <laughs> that nigga be putting freestyles up every week, but nobody really be doing that shit. Sitting outside their car giving you bars. They post mean, a persona. Like they no post more, a persona like... they posting, you know, whatever, whatever, but where the bars at? Yeah, I mean, yeah, like, yeah, I mean, I mean, I have yet to see like one of these, one, one of these, like these young niggas that's like that consider hot actually really impress me bar wise. You know, it's just like most of them I just shout out like, Kodak, shout out Kodak Black, free Kodak Black. That nigga got bars, and he behind them too. But free him. So, sometimes <laughs> he, he, Kodak, Kodak is inconsistent to me with bars. He spits real shit. But sometimes I wasn't feeling his bars. Sometimes it depends. Really. Now he got bars. It's his delivery that's inconsistent. When he wants to spit, he, he'll kill shit. Because I always fuck like I always fuck with Ace Hood when it came to bars. He was always Ace Hood. Ace, Ace Hood yeah, was Hood talented. Was Ace Hood was yeah. good. He, he had the whole package though. Like the he had the flow, like the consistency, the bars, all of that. Like yeah, like, everybody it, it, everybody stole his flow. It's a mystery how he never like blew like that. It's just, uh, I, I understand like dude, dude was dude was a talent. It was a talent, pure talent. And I don't say that about love niggas, nigga. You know, I have a very judgmental. Because it's the way he came out, man. Like he a Broward dude, but they had him on some Catlett super friend shit. So it's like he didn't get that whole Broward love like how Kodak did. Like you had a lot of niggas and a lot of outsiders cast thinking Ace Hood was like a Miami dude. Mm. I did, yep. I, I can't lie, I, I thought he was too. But when you first heard of Kodak, you knew he was a Pompano dude, uh, a, a, a Broward nigga, though. Well, I, I mean, I don't know. That's I mean, the difference. Kodak, Kodak Black never really impressed me like that. That's the thing. Tell the blogs correct that shit, because I ain't from Miami. That nigga, <laughs> that nigga Kodak. <laughs> Yeah, because a lot of times if you from South Florida and you rapping and making moves, they trying to just put you in Miami. Like, like nigga, I'm from Hollywood. Like, nah, nigga, that's, nah, that's Miami now. I'm in yeah. Myanmar. Nah, nigga, you in Miami now. And it's like Miami is like the only town, it's, only, it's, only, it's the only city that's actually known in the rap game, you know? So, because, so like, like I say, so it's, it's, all, it's all about the image, you know? I mean, shit, I mean, Vanilla Ice was billed as being from fucking Miami before they found this nigga from Texas, you know what I'm saying? So, but that's it. <laughs> Florida has like people from Florida, like the whole state of Florida has people getting on all different types of like places in Florida. It's not like it's just only Miami, like, like, 
So that's the weird. I shit. mean, you, you. I mean, yeah, you you gotta think too last true for all that, because that because those those were the, those are the niggas that actually popped that shit off over there, if I'm not mistaken. So, you know, yeah, you know, Uncle Luke, Miami, everyone's from Miami. <laughs> that's Brad, Brad from Florida. Like T <laughs> Pain from Miami now, like. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm telling Hassy P, like nah, nigga, Miami. I mean Rome, like, even Rome shit now. Rome is from Miami. That, I mean, that, you know, oh, that's a Florida nigga. That's a Miami nigga rapping all this, uh, all this romantic shit. You know, what I'm saying that's, nah, they that, gonna that, be that, like, that. now he a Chicago dude, but he a Miami oh, cat. No. I said my city in every song, nigga. Shout out Chicago. What's good? Hey. hey. <laughs> but, but, but once you live in Florida for ten years, it's like you you a Florida nigga. I stayed in Miami. I know what it is, and I stayed in Broward now. And again, I know there's a big ass difference between Broward and Miami. So if you in yeah. Broward saying you from Miami, nigga, stop capping, nigga. You is nowhere from Miami. If you're <laughs> you in Miami and you say you from Broward, nigga. No, you not. Stop playing. It's like two different two different worlds. It's two different worlds, but it's the same niggas. Nah, it's like it's like here. Sometimes you'll have like I'm in I'm from the Bronx. You'll have like Mount Vernon dudes trying to claim the Bronx. Sometimes it's like Nah, you from Mount Vernon. Like, don't, yeah, don't do exactly, that. nigga. You from the street across the street, nigga. Stop playing that. <laughs> shit. But like dudes, like this is this is like this is like known for like like a lot of Long Island dudes who rep Queens because Queens and Long Island are like right there. So like a lot of times if you're from like Long Island. Sometimes they'll like false, false be repping Queens just for like a better look. Like now, nah, right from Long Island. <laughs> yeah, it's it's funny. It's funny how the rap game goes and street game shit like that for people. What people will do for clout. It's like, it, it, it's 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 hilarious to me. <laughs> for real. <laughs> yeah, I know. But uh, in terms now, here's our favorite part of the segment. What rating do we give Ro, uh, Rome's romantic EP? LB, since you're, you're the man, you know, on two of the songs, what would you give uh, Rome's uh, EP? How many nine? Nine. I mean, because it, it did everything it was supposed to do. Like, I can't say it was perfect because I didn't feel every song. Mm -hmm. Like masterpieces, usually you gotta love everything, or everything gotta have like equal value. Like, of course, like, I, I'm not really a fan of the down south track. Like, like he kills the rap in the in the bars and shit. Probably the best. Nah, I can't say the best rapping performance on the album mm -hmm. from him. But it's one of his like spitting. But it's just the beat. I just don't like that beat compared to all the other beats on the album where I felt like it's fire. Like that raindrop beat. When I first heard that, I was like, this a hit, like this fire. The one crazy, deadliest drugs, change of life got a hard beat. Like, so that's my only thing. Um, and it's crazy cause uh, I heard another album recently that I know someone had dropped and it was a, something similar as far as bunch of chick songs and 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 they had a different vibe like they took samples and and uh they rapped and did they shit and then just listening to theirs and listening to rome and i'm like damn both these niggas like kind of did the same thing it, like but i say rome just got like his got a mainstream appeal appeal to it mm. so you know i feel like it's it's a it's a nine like it's a strong strong nine like you know, ain't too many niggas is making a, a, a EP, a chick tape EP with straight spitting without it, you know, and for chicks without it sounding like some lame shit. Word. <laughs> so it's and, a and nine? That's the biggest takeaway. It's a nine. Shout out Tony, Tony Romo. Shout out Tony Parker. Shout out Rondo. You feel me? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. Hey, you know, what, what do you rate the album, bro? Okay, I'm a, I'm gonna go old school. I'm gonna give it four mics. Mm. Okay. Nigga, we do yeah, one through ten on on on. <laughs> like, shout out, oh, shout man. out, Dak Prescott. <laughs> <laughs> 
This nigga can't do it four mics. I mean, a four, a four out of five is eight out of ten, unless we want to go if we want to be uh, technical about it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I I give it an eight out of ten. I fucks with it. Oh, okay. Um, Can't be changing rules and shit. Okay. Nigga, like, uh, shout out, uh, shout out, no, no, shout out, uh, five shout potato out old, chip bags. Yeah. <laughs> shout out old school Kobe Bryant. Yeah. Shout, it shout, is eight. Shout out old one Kobe. <laughs> eight to your chest, just like a Kobe jersey. I <laughs> hey, got me thinking that that, that Benny Siegel uh, wake up uh, freestyle. <laughs> Damn, uh, so Pat. So what's your rating? No, uh, wait, hold on. Let, let P break down. Let P break down. Oh, shit. My, my bad, fam. No, no my bad. Um, overall, really, the, the rap thing is what um, really got me to give it, like, an eight. And also, the, the beat. Like 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 I said, the down south beat. Like, y'all, I wasn't really feeling that. Some of the beats just, like, in the car. It wasn't eh. But, like, I thought, like, overall, the rapping was real strong. So, and I'm big on rapping. So, if you got the lyrics, you got the bars, you got presence got basically everything so I'm, I'm gonna give it at eight 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 and a half out of ten word word milking out shout out right. Rex gross man i guess it's my turn to you know to go up the back to talk about it lay it on me because I know it's the crotchety old man of, of this of this of this hip hop shit yeah this, this should be good <laughs> this is opening, opening up the screen door, looking outside, just seeing if any kids Jim, out Jim, there. Jim, 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 Jim. Get that water Jim. hose ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, so uh, dig. Okay, so basically, my takeaways from the EP. I mean, like I said, you know, it, you know, it's short and concise, which is good. Like I said, you know, there's. No, there's no like bullshit. Like some niggas be putting, be making filler tracks and shit like that. Exactly. Uh, it, it was, there wasn't a tra- every track had a purpose, which is good. You know, most people, most people need to learn how to sequence their music that way. Um, like I said, but yeah, Rome definitely has the mic presence, and he was, you know, he was flowing in some of those beats or whatever. Uh, my criticisms, I mean, as I mentioned before, like the production was like, like I said. I, I, a good amount of tracks it just sounds like niggas was getting drowned out by the beat and i understand niggas is not engineers or whatever man you know whatever but it is a takeaway you know what i mean so uh and then another thing too is like some of the production sounded somewhat the same you know just you know, a little diversified you know because I, 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 I was i was i was i was i was i was i like some Mac shit, like you know, some Mac, like a Max, like so, some Willie Hutch sample shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, like I said, you know, just like, I would say, just diversify the right. The label, know. the label has uh, problems clearing some of those type of tracks. Um, that that that's not the artist's fault. I'm just letting you know. Um, but we are working on that. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Yeah, um, but you know, I, I did, I, I did, enjoy, I, I did enjoy that. I'm like, Raindrop, I didn't really enjoy all of that much, you know. But once, once I got past that, you know, you know, shit was a, shit was a listen, you know. And I probably should listen to it again tomorrow, um, in the car, you know, you mm-hmm. know, uh, and uh, just, just to see, just to see if maybe my ears, you know, would detect something different from listening to speakers and a big ass subwoofer, you know, that I keep attached. You know what I mean? So, uh, uh, for you know, for, for you know, for first F word or whatever, I give it you know a strong seven, seven out of ten. You know, shout out Mike Vick. Yeah, shout out the, the goat Mike Vick. Yes, you know he didn't kill my Jackson. Shout out Lamar. Oh man, but yeah, though, know, definitely you know, Rome, you know, Rome obviously will just you know, uh, Rome will no, no doubt, undoubtedly the bro. You know, grow musically from this shit, you know, and, and you know, and definitely, you know, we we'll expect to hear some more fire from him in the in the future for sure. You know, when when sure. other people joins or his own albums, you know, whenever he you know he feels creative to get into the lab next to create another masterpiece, you know what I mean? You uh, feel me? Damn. Yeah. <sighs> wow, like, man, like. <laughs> 
that, that nigga broke his soul out. He just gets a seven. <laughs> nigga, you know, it's not your man. music. <laughs> this nigga. Yo, oh, nigga, this ain't your music. <laughs> Damn, wow. <laughs> Damn, so hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah, you. I still got the record then. Damn. Wow, wow, okay. Yeah, I still, I, I feel his opinion though. It makes sense. I respect, yeah. I respect all opinions. Yeah, no, I, I didn't say anything. <laughs> no, I, I respect the hip hop opinion. Period. Like, so of course, like we we fuck around with Pat, you know. But I know he got a a high level when it of expectations when he, you know, when he feels something. So when yeah, he definitely... when he say something is dope, then you know he really meant means it. Even even with boxing, so. <laughs> so it's both ways. You definitely got here raindrop in the car. It's definitely a vibe. Yeah. Most definitely. Especially when it's raining. Ooh, that's a real vibe. That's a crazy vibe, yo. Driving in the rain. Burning in the air. <laughs> splashing on a nigga on the court. You know, on a you roller coaster that, ride. That makes all me all of shit. <laughs> Let me ask both of y'all a question. Pat, Pat Scorpio and uh, King P. If y'all could pick one song out the album that you would let a chick hear, what song would it be? Deadly is drugs. Raindrops. Thank oh, okay. you. Raindrops. Get that whole drop in, nigga. You already know the vibe. <laughs> <laughs> you already know the vibe. You play raindrops. That whole on you. You feel me? She's like, I am falling for you. <laughs> Facts, but I, I, I understand why why Pat picked Deadly as Drug though. Nah, that just seemed like, drug too. That's a vibe. You, that seemed like if you know Shorty just come over and you got that playing in the background, it just seemed like it's a real good vibe. So she was like, "Ooh, what song? Exactly. What song is this?" Yeah, yeah, it's exactly. My anniversary. <laughs> well, Raindrop is something you got in the whip and you pick it up and she get in the car and she's like, "Hold on, like who this?" <laughs> It's that fire, like yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, it I works, you know. <laughs> yeah, I feel, feel that. I feel that. Yeah, what about man, you, man. nigga? Who me? Should it work? Yeah. Nigga did say something. Nigga, like I've been, like nigga, you know what the fuck? <laughs> raindrop no, was here. like the. Oh, you said raindrop? Yeah, like you already know, shorty. I heard. <laughs> like nigga, I'm, oh, okay. I heard you songs like. Like months ago, <laughs> like nigga, that's like asking the AR. Like you ask the label president, like, yo, so what you think? Well, I don't know, nigga. Maybe you didn't. I, I ain't know if you if you told the listeners or not, nigga. Trying to get everybody informed. You feel me? <laughs> nah, but uh, rain drop, ride or die. Like, if I had to list my favorite, like, it would probably be the one rain drop. Ride or die, those those three, and then um, change of life, and deadliest drug. But I, I, all I know is down south is last. Yeah, the top the top three, my favorite as well. But that's how I kind of made it. <laughs> the like the, the bangers is like back to back to back. It's like you can't you can't get enough of it type shit. Top three tracks are my favorite though. And then, I mean, obviously, Deadliest Drug and um, uh, Change Your Life, which I liked. And then uh, The One. Mm -hmm. uh, and those were my uh, top three. I'd say for me, it's um, Down South, The One, and Range Rocks. Mm. Diversity. We got diversity. diversity. See, we got some shit. Some shit. For, and nobody said down south, but nigga, I love it, nigga. Some, <laughs> shit, some shit for everybody to enjoy. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, there man. you have it, folks. Yes, you know. Ro you know, romantic EP, man. It's everywhere. You know, Google it. Download it. Tell your friends. Tell your parents. You know, you know tell your grandma. Tell your girl, nigga. Yeah, tell your girl to tell her girls that this nigga just came out with this album and he looked good and it sound like some some dope shit they can buy to, you know. I might buy him a bag. Still, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, oh. 
but yeah, you'll definitely, you know, get, definitely get that shit, man. You know, because uh, it's what it's the shit that you want and you need, and you need to hear it. You know what I mean? So uh, yeah, you know, you know, kudos to Rome for allowing us to review and you know review his album. You know, Thank on this you. podcast. Thank you. You know, like I said, you know, that man, that, that, that man is a talent, man. Y'all, y'all better recognize it, better get on this bandwagon, you know, before you get left behind, you know what I mean? Exactly. So, uh, <laughs> exactly. he knows, he knows the vibe. Exactly. So, uh, before we get up out of here, man, do we have any final thoughts? LB, final thoughts? Ringgangradio.com, the army. The Navy, I mean the Navy, <laughs> and uh, you beefing with us for you, it ain't gravy. <laughs> mm. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, don't do it to him, don't do it to him. <laughs> dang, dang. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, man, uh, y'all just make sure y'all, y'all just uh, subscribe, uh, five star the podcast, uh, like, comment, share, all of that good shit. I follow everybody. Um, we gonna have more articles and shit on the way, you know, just like we normally do. Uh, don't forget romantic EP that's out. You already know. I probably uh, get a video start on that on that soon. <laughs> hey, uh, me, um, and, and if y'all want to hear more Rome, he on the Gold Artist album as well. So. That's on the same platforms as, as Romantic, so shut up with Gold Artist, y'all check that out as well. Word. So probably gonna get a video for that as well. Hashtag rap soon. So that's what it that's is. All I all I got to say. That's what it is. AOP, man, do you got any final thoughts, bruh? I basically share everything that uh LB said, especially Go listen to Romantic and out everywhere. If you haven't listened to it yet, you sleep it. So get up and start listening now. Stop snoozing. Stop That's snoozing, you bitch ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> um, Rome, do you have any final thoughts? Yeah, okay. So uh the romantic EP. It's a product for all of the ladies. Niggas, buy it. It's on Amazon, Apple Music, Spotify, Deezer, anywhere that you listen to music. Go ahead, cop that thing, play it for your thing, and you gonna get that thing. You feel me? I got a new song coming out this month called Jordan. Single dropping on all platforms. Look out for it. I'm wrong. Check me out on Instagram and Twitter at the Real Roman J. We live with it. You feel me? Yes, sir. That's what it is. And then my final thoughts are, you know, like I said, I mean, you know, like I said, you know, echo everyone's thoughts. Yeah, get that Real Romantic EP, man. You won't be disappointed. And uh, currently working on a new Forgotten Fades article. Uh, you know, like I said. Um, Unfortunately, boxing boxing has a lot of fights that simply just not given enough attention. Like so, I always have an article to write on these fights. But yeah, you know, hopefully, what one day maybe boxing will get on board and have a and you know and we'll be able to show some of these fights on the network. And instead of just looking on YouTube, where YouTube will eventually take some of them down after a while because they're they're kind of crazy about the copyright. But um, got that, and then you know the prediction video for. Wilder Ortiz 2, you know, I am currently working on, uh, you know, should have it probably by most likely either like Thursday or Friday, most likely. You know, bars. You watch out. <laughs> yes, you know, I have my four bars, yes, on, you know, on deck for that, you know, for that particular fight. You know, it's, uh, yeah, you know, like I said, the, my type of, uh, my type of humor and, and, uh, is definitely on display on those bars. Uh, so other than that, you know, Ring Gang, you know, we like, you know, follow, subscribe, like, all that stuff. We see your comments. And I saw, of course, I see the comments about the, knock, about the nightly knockouts video. So yeah, we're gonna try to, you know, cater to you guys that like, you know, that like to watch those uh, videos that we put out for you. Um, try to put more of them out. Um, but yeah, like I said, 
uh, yeah, follow Marine Gang, man. Marine Gang is the future. And uh, yeah, don't get left behind. Don't get left off the bandwagon. <laughs> so uh, for myself, Pasco for the New England representative. For LB, Shadow with the God, Go Artist. For King P, Bodega P. You know, for, you know, for Young Rome, you know, the next superstar in the making. You know, this is another, this has been another dope uh, episode of Real Talk. Where, as always, if shit's real, we talk about it. So, yeah, until next time. Peace.